way, way back in history, we're talking like prehistoric times, the geography of where I am now, St. Andrews, was pretty much the opposite of what it is today. The water was some 300 feet lower and the coastline some 15 miles further south. The body of water you see behind me was most likely a riverbed and as the waters rose, it became the bay it is today, St. Andrews Bay. And how this all comes together is that today you can pull up a boat into the St. Andrews Marina and have some great food on a houseboat called Just the Cook. Sounds like a simple thing, but Just the Cook, there's a lot going on here. There's Tell us what's going on. What's going on behind <laughs> the scenes. We like, you know, Just the Cook does sound like a simple kind of phrase. Yeah. But there's so many things going on behind that, you know, from fresh bread. We make everything we can possibly make. When I figure out how to make bacon, I'll make bacon but you can't make bacon, you gotta buy it, still. What's your clientele like? I mean, people come here by boat, by foot, but oh. just describe the, the average day here. It is insane. We have people pull up on kayaks. We have people pull up with a 26 foot boats, tie off on the back. We have a little space on the back with bumpers all built in and tons of locals. Everybody seems to like it because they know they're gonna get fresh food. Right. Well, I, this man packs a lot of character into himself and this restaurant packs a ton of character. And I really just want to watch you cook and make us some food. Can we do that? Oh, absolutely. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised at the menu preparations. Take the deviled egg with cooked egg yolks smoked over pecan wood till they look like this, blended with the usual fillings you see here, and then worked into that Mexican pulled pork that smoked for six hours. This gets scooped into the egg white cups and topped with Mexican crema. For the shrimp tortuga, let me set the stage. You have soft rolls basted in garlic butter, toasting on the flat top. You have Gulf shrimp sauteing in more fragrant butter. In fancy restaurants, you pay really good money to have your fresh herbs scattered like this and your avocado laid out just so. This is an incredible sandwich, folks. On Fettuccine Fridays, Ernie puts on Frank Sinatra and doles out dishes like this splendid carbonara made with nests of fresh semolina pasta, eggs, premium bacon and parmesan, garnished with quail egg and fresh chives. This is ridiculously good. Last but not least, the Dandy Burger, a patty with rosemary, garlic and onion grilled juicy, topped with Canadian bacon, Swiss, blue cheese crumbles and a roasted red pepper, all smacked onto a glazed donut from Dandy Donut here in town. When it comes to picking the restaurants for my top five, character is right up there almost with food. And when you get them both together, then I am so happy. Ernie Hall really deeply cares about his food, as you saw with those ingredients and that preparation. He's gonna serve you, humor you, you'll have a great time. We've got more dining by boat coming up in a moment, so stay tuned at my next pick.